guys it is a rainy tuesday evening as i'm starting this vlog i'm just out driving around a little bit taking in just the quietness of town it's about 9 45 p.m so pretty much everything's all shut down except for the gas stations and so everyone's at home but it's just such a beautiful night i had to come out for a little bit and be in the rain. I don't know about you guys, but I love being out in the rain. Guys, it's beautiful out now. It's uh, Friday night now. And the sun is out. And it's just beautiful. And I thought I would just say hi. We got the clock tower down there. I'm a little further up the road than normal. We're now by the post office. <laughs> anyway angles real bad but um my the roof of my car is really low and so every time I try to like put my arm out to film I'm sort of banging into things Ugh, on the ceiling <laughs> hi guys <laughs> so we're just gonna go back to scenery <laughs> anyway um I'll I'll catch back up with you guys when I get home hi you guys it is Saturday <laughs> I swear I have such a hard time these days keeping up with the days of the week. Yesterday I said to Ed, I said, it feels like Saturday. And he said, but it's not. And I said, I know it's Sunday. And he said, um, it's Friday. <laughs> so anyway, now it's actually Saturday. And tonight was supposed to be my grandfather's musical tribute night. Um, if you've been around my channel for a while, you know that I come from a very musical family and uh, my grandfather passed in the summertime and so every summer um, family members as many as possible get together and just have a concert for him where we play traditional you know Newfoundland music that he loved and we just have a great time together and two years ago um, in August we had that tribute in Ireland just kind of as something different normally it's held back home in Newfoundland anyway this year of course there's no travel you can't really travel around the country definitely no international travel but not even really around the country can you travel so this year it was going to be on zoom um, we were going to have a zoom get together so that everyone no matter where they were could participate and <laughs> About two hours before it was set to start, I got an email or a text from my aunt, Judy, and she said, tribute's a no-go, we can't get um, Zoom to work. Because basically what it was going to be was people from all over, I was going to say the country, but honestly the world, because my cousin Adam, he's currently living in Sri Lanka, so it's like family members all over the world getting together to play music and so I guess they gave it a trial run and just on the zoom when people started playing instruments in from the different locations it started to lag and it just sounded terrible unfortunately so that kind of got called off and it was such a bummer because like I said it was about two hours before it was set to start that it got called off and we had all like me my sister, Ed, Anna, everybody, we were looking so forward to it, and then it's just not going to happen this year. Um, so that was definitely, definitely a disappointment. Um, but we still had a nice night at Miley. Uh, well, first of all, me and my sister, we, um, we just decided to FaceTime each other for a few hours and um, just chat and have fun, but yeah. It's too bad when things like that get canceled. So anyway, I had originally planned to vlog a bunch of that so you could get to see it and get to hear people playing and all of that. But of course, that's just not going to happen. So I thought I would instead record an explanation. <laughs> not that you were expecting it, but um, here we are. So there's that. <laughs> Hi there guys, I thought I would come and end this vlog. I swear I haven't been having much luck with vlogs lately. Again, today, I took a bunch of footage on Sunday, so yesterday, to go for the vlog. And then I went to upload it and it was gone. That's happened in the past like three vlogs now. I've just lost footage. 
it's just magically disappeared. Where does it go? <laughs> anyway, so we're just gonna have a chat for a minute. I have no makeup on. It's one of those days, it's too hot. Like, what's the point in putting it on? It's just gonna be running down your face by the afternoon anyway. But I do have some coffee because it's never too hot for coffee. I've got, this is actually Anna's mug. It's her Ravenclaw Harry Potter mug. But um, I like to use it sometimes because I also like Harry Potter. Anyway, oh, there was something I wanted to share with you guys. So, for a while now, I don't know if you've noticed in my videos, it comes and it goes right here on my face. It's almost, it started coming out again last night. There's a, there's a, I guess it's a pimple, but like it comes and then it goes and then it comes back like in the same spot. So anyway, for a while it wouldn't go away. Like now it comes and goes. Before it was just, it was just here and it wasn't going anywhere. And when I say it wouldn't go anywhere, I'm talking about like six, seven months it wouldn't go anywhere. So one day, just kind of on a whim, like you call it one of those like gut feelings, you know, when you're thinking about something and then the answer just comes to you. <laughs> it was that kind of situation. I was just like, I know what to do. So I grabbed some of this and this is tea tree oil ointment like um it's it's a horrible texture honestly but it's just like a, a clear sort of ointment um and it smells very strongly if you smell tea tree oil you know what i mean it's very strong smelling not necessarily unpleasant it's just very strong you will get used to it <laughs> after a while um but it's strong Anyway, I started putting it on that spot. And I put it on two times a day, three times a day, whenever I think of it. Um, and almost immediately, it started going away. And I was like, wow. So I guess because this is a tea tree oil, it has antiseptic properties. Um, and then within like two days, it was completely gone. And then it started, probably about a month later, it started coming back. So as soon as it started coming back, I put it back on and it would go away. And now again, a couple days ago, it started coming back. So I started putting this on it and it's almost gone again. So this works really well to get rid of it when it comes out. I still don't know what the cause of it is. <laughs> but if you've had something similar happen to you, try tea tree oil. I like the ointment because it's easy to go on, but I'm sure you could just put tea tree oil on there. Just put it on there. So yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys. And for now, let's just cheers to antiseptic ointments. <laughs> Before we go, we can chat a bit about what we're watching on Netflix. <laughs> um, Ed and I started watching last night, actually, the new Unsolved Mysteries. They rebooted it on Netflix. They put up six episodes. I've heard that more episodes are going to drop later in the year, but for now, we watched the first three last night. Man, I can remember being a kid when Unsolved Mysteries originally aired on TV and Robert Stack was the host. This one doesn't have a host, it's done fully documentary style because how could they replace Robert Stack? You can't. Um, but I can remember one Friday night, because you should come on Friday nights, my parents were out. I don't know where they were. They were visiting or out to dinner or something. I was probably 13 or 14 and I thought it would be fun to turn on Unsolved Mysteries and watch it. I was home alone. And when I tell you, my mother came home and found me on the couch with a blanket around my head, just my little eyes peeking out, and all the lights on, <laughs> and the TV on, but to something different. Once it's, It was always the endings, you guys, the endings of those Unsolved Mysteries. Just the way he would tell us how <laughs> it was unsolved. It used to scare me. So anyway, after that I stopped watching it. So now I figure, you know what, okay. We're, we're all adults here. <laughs> I can do it. Um, and the third one, the third one, you guys, it's about a family in France. So the episode is all in French, but it's got subtitles. And it's about this family. I had never heard about this until now, which is wild when you think about it. 
So I think the episode is called House of Horrors. And the mom, four kids, and two dogs are all found deceased um, in the house. And they're actually found, well, not, they're not found in the house. They're found buried in the backyard. The dad is nowhere to be found. And he still hasn't been located. I've heard every so often they'll get a call where somebody thinks they've seen him somewhere, but at least as of now, they haven't tracked him down. And they were like a noble family, aristocrats. He, he was a count or his dad was a count. Um, and they were, you know, this family that was really big in the community. Um, just really, a really well-known, well-looked-upon family. And it looks like he just killed his four children, wife and dogs. Like, what? That, that one, I found that one to be the scariest. Am I out of focus again? So that one, I think that one was my favorite episode so far in that it was the the scariest one there's just something so scary and as I was watching it too I just keep picturing like imagine some woman because you know he's probably gone and restarted his life somewhere imagine how some woman turns on unsolved mysteries and sees this and then like thinks to herself like oh my god that's my husband because at the time he was only I think late 40s or early 50s like young enough that he could go and restart <laughs> remarry you know crazy so I've heard as well that since they put these episodes up like the hotlines of new tips rolling in are just are just rolling it <laughs> anyway it's really all we're watching right now I'm still watching peaky blinders peaky blinders um yeah but I guess I guess I'll just go for now it's been it's been a Monday I feel like but yeah I hope you're all doing well and that things are good and I don't know. I just, I'm always thinking about you guys, wondering how you're doing. And I hope, I know during times like this, times of real uncertainty, like we're in right now, sometimes people's mental health can really take a dive. I suppose, you know, especially um, if it's something you already struggle with, now is a time I could see where maybe it would flare up. Or if you live alone and you're really dealing with isolation, um, just know that I'm thinking of you. And I'm always here. If you need someone to talk to, you can shoot me a message. Uh, I'm here. All right. So anyway, enjoy your day. Enjoy the rest of your week, although I'll see you multiple times before this week is over. I'll see you on Wednesday with another paranormal video, and on Friday with book talk, and on Sunday with more Emily of New Moon. We've only got three more Emily of New Moon videos. Um, five more chapters total. Three more videos. I can't wait to finish it off with you. <laughs> All right. Bye, guys.